Welcome to the video tutorial for Reggie and Rosie Bunny and we're going to be showing you how to do the stripe, how to read the pattern for the colour changes. So this bunny is Rosie and her pattern is in the bunny's um, pattern booklet which is um, an extra that you get in there if you want to do a little bunny like this one. And the differences are this one has a different coloured arm, different coloured ear, it's got a multicoloured tail and she also has a stripe. Um, so the head for our normal one colour bunny is a separate one and then in the pattern it shows you Reggie and Rosie's head only, make one. So this shows you all the colour changes and we've written it in different coloured ink to make it a little bit easier. So the instruction says start with the contrast colour which is used for the stripe. So whatever colour you're doing your stripe in, that's the one you're going to start with and those stitches are shown in red so anytime you see a red stitch you're going to be doing your contrast colour the stripe colour the black stitches are the main colour which the main one in Rose's case is beige that's their main colour so that's the main one as is it's most of her head so the red stitches are going to be cream and the beige stitches are written in black ink if you're making Reggie Bunny it's the other way around um, let's get started. So first of all, we're going to start with our contrast colour, which is the cream, and we're going to make a magic circle with six stitches. Round two, we're going to increase six times. Again, all of the stitch writing is in red, so they're all in red, which means they're all in cream. Now, I've actually started, because we have already done magic circles and the like, so that is where we're up to, is the end of round two. So now we're going to do round three and show you how we do those colour changes. So our first instruction is six double crochet and that's in red. So that means that's in cream. Now you do need to be concentrating when you're making one of these because it's so easy to get carried away and end up just forgetting what you're doing and going wrong. Right, let's zoom in a little bit so we can see it easier. So we're going to do six double crochet stitches in cream. So one two, three, four, five, six. So while you're making the head, I would suggest um, you're concentrating completely. If you're watching TV or doing something else, you might find that you just lose track or get confused and end up doing the wrong colour. Um, so we've done our six double crochet stitches in cream. And our next instruction is increase times six. But those stitches are written in black, which means we're going to be doing our contrast colour. Now, I've shown you six double crochets, but the best way to change colour neatly is actually to start it on the stitch before. So I've shown you that, but I'm going to pull that last stitch out. So the tricky part is remembering to change colour on the stitch before your colour change. So we've gone back, so there's just five. So our sixth one, even though it's going to be done in cream, we're going to be starting our colour change now. What we're going to do is start our stitch as normal, so go under, grab our yarn. But when we're doing our second yarn over, we're going to do it in the new colour. So we're changing the colour halfway through the previous stitch. So our yarn over, so I'm just going to get the end of the other collar, pop that over my hook and pull it through. So we've got two loose ends at the back which we will be tying off in a minute but I'm just going to leave them for the time being because while we're just working on these stitches it's a little bit more tricky to, to knot them now. So we're going to do finish the round and then we'll knot them. So our instruction in the black ink which is our parchment beige is six increases. So our next stitch we're going to do six. Now watch that you're carrying on with your beige because it's very easy to pick up the cream at this stage and merrily go on your way doing cream and then think, oh my goodness, what's happened? I've gone wrong. So just be mindful all the time. So we're going to do an increase, which is obviously two double crochets in one stitch. And we're going to do that six times. So that should take us to the end of our round. But it is tricky because you've always got to be looking what your next instruction is pretty much just before you finish it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do those 
five and then I'm going to go see if it's going to change on our next round so you're looking ahead all the time so our round four is one double crochet still in the beige so we're okay we can finish this round so that's six increases we've just done in the beige so we're going to move our marker as normal so everything else is just as normal there we go so now we're starting round six no we're not we're starting round four so we've done the six double crochet and six increases so round four we're doing one double crochet in the beige so can you remember what we do we're going to go in here actually what i'll do first just a thought we'll tie those two and it's just to make sure they do disappear so i'm going to pull them slightly look at the front of your work and just check that they're even if you've got a big stitch or it's a bit loose gently pull it at the back just so they look quite even so it's not going to be obvious when you've done a color change now the bits we're tying off are going to be the two loose ends so that's going to be our beige and the cream where we just ended now it, this is still attached our cream because we're still working with it you can disconnect it and fasten it off but then you'd have to rejoin every time you change color i often find the easiest way is just to carry it along the back so i'll show you that method because i just I do find it's just easier than lots and lots of knots so i've just knotted that at the back just to secure it to make sure it doesn't come unraveled so it's looking like that already that's the nose look so we're going to start our next round it's going to pick our stitch back up right so we're doing one double crochet in parchment before we change so we're going to do half of the stitch and then for our final yarn over we're going to change to the other color so let's grab our cream now <laughs> watch this bit which is from the tail where we started i'm going to cut it and leave a couple of centimeters because otherwise it's very easy to accidentally pick that one up and start crocheting with it so we're going to try and make our life a bit easier by just cutting that off so we don't accidentally do that so we're going to grab the cream pull it across and do our final yarn over in the cream i'm just going to sorry get that beige out of the way it's just getting tucked under so i'm going to yarn over and pull through with our cream now at the back watch very carefully because if this is pulled very tight you'll end up with it puckering like that and pulling we don't want that so we want it loose a little bit loose or just flat across the back we don't want it to pucker our front of the fa fabric so there we are that's done so now we're working with cream again so let's drop that beige strand and work with the cream so after our first single double crochet where our ink turns to red so that's going to be obviously our um, cream and we're going to do four double crochets so don't forget we're probably we're only going to do three because we'll be changing color then so now we're going to do three one two three and on our fourth one we're going to be changing color so we're going to go in and do half the stitch then we're changing to the beige with the final yarn over and yarning over with that again check the back make sure you're not pulling them too tight across the back so loosen it off a little bit so they're loose it's not puckering because otherwise you'll have a, a gathered looking bunny rabbit which isn't good so we've done our affordable crochets and we've changed color on the final one our next instruction is 13 double crochets so that's carrying on with our beige so our next stitch that's fine so we've worked that one so this is our next one so we're going to do 13. so off we go a single double crochet in each now this pattern is slightly different to arthur and betsy we've had to adapt the pattern because it was very complicated trying to do increases all mixed together with the color changes so you'll find a lot of the increases are in the plain sections and we've done that just to make it simpler because this is quite complicated as it is so we really don't want to make it any more complicated so that's why if you're looking at the heads thinking well there's increases in different places it's a bit different it's purely been done to make sure that you don't um 
struggle even more with these complicated colour changes. So we've done our final 13. And we've moved our marker. So let's look at our next round. It's one double crochet, again with our parchment. But with it just being one, we're going to be doing our colour change again on the yarn over, second yarn over. So start as normal. And then we'll do our yarn over, finally yarn over in our new colour. So it's always the last stitch of the colour before you change. You just do the second half of the stitch with the new yarn, the new colour. So it, it does get complicated. <clears throat> you may find you go wrong a couple of times and have to pull it back. You really do need to focus on it. <laughs> it's it's um, more challenging. So we've done our double crochet. And now we're going to do four double crochets in our cream. Once you get going, you'll see what's happening. We're mainly doing our cream in the cream section and our beige in the beige section. So it will become a little bit more straightforward. And then it does slightly change as it narrows up further up. But you can see then which colour you're working with because you can see the stripe forming. So that's four double crochets. So again, we're going to do three. And then on our final one, we're going to be changing colour again. So half of it in the cream, swap over to the beige for our final yarn over. And again, check the back, do this each time and just make sure that it's a little bit loose. That's it. So that's OK. Look, they're, they're a little bit loose. They're not puckering and tight. So our next instruction is one double crochet increase and we're going to do that six times. So as you can see, it was a plain section for the cream and our increases are all going to come in the beige section so that we're not changing one at the same time because it's, it just does become much more complicated. So one double crochet increase, one double crochet increase. We're going to do that until the end of the row. Um, one thing to watch out for, if you do accidentally do the stitch in the wrong colour, you can easily just pull it back. Um, you can just change colour on the new stitch, but to be honest, it gives quite a noticeable effect and it looks like your stitch is half and half. So it's not very neat, doesn't give a very good finish. And also the way colour changes work, you will find that one side of your stripe is very, very neat and straight across and the other looks a little bit bumpy. There isn't really a way around that. That's just the way it'll be. So one side will be really neat. The other one a little bit more bumpy, but that's just the way the crochet works. There isn't really a way of avoiding that. Um, it gives them a little bit of character. So we've gone all the way to the end. And it was in one, one double crochet and an increase and then one or double crochet at the end. So our next round is just going to be one double crochet in this colour. So we're going to be colour changing on it. Let's move our marker first. That would be helpful. <laughs> so we're going to do the one double crochet. So of course we're changing to the cream again. Keep just such a close eye on what you're doing. So we've changed over now. That was our one double crochet. So we're doing four double crochets in cream. So that's right across the stripe. So we're going to do three and then colour change on that final one. So we're going to change over to the beige on our fourth stitch, making sure it's not tight at the back again. And the rest of our round is just 19 plain double crochets. So that's a bit more of a simple one. We're just going to carry on with those to the end of the round, one in each. It's very cute with the stripe though, so I think it's worth the work. But you need a day when you're nice and focused, wide awake, <laughs> no distractions when you're doing the head. So just one in each to the end. So we're nearly there at the end of the round. Just one in each and keep going till you get to your marker and then we'll continue with our next round. Now this is all forming quite a pattern so you can probably see that now. So once we've got you working knowing how to do it, 
we're going to leave you to continue now our next round let's just talk you through that is going to be two double crochets and then we're going to be swapping for three in the cream and then two double crochets and an increase and one final just plain double crochet at the end now you can see here what's happening is our double crochets in the cream are actually reducing slightly until we've got one and that's because the stripe is tapering toward the top you can see that here so it's just going that's you can see the difference there so you've got a lovely stretch there and that one will just go like that it's just the way the color changes work i think it looks really really sweet so when you get to the end this is the last in the red which is the last cream stitch fasten off your stripe color so you'll just cut it leaving a few centimeters and not at the back with the other color just like we did when we joined the new one so we're just going to cut that off when it tells us and then just fasten it to the beige just to make sure it's secure and then continue the instructions of the main head from round 13 to the end so from there you're just going to be carrying on in your beige right to the end and you're going to follow the head pattern for Reggie where is it oh there it is from round 13 so it's exactly the same so you're going to be doing plain rounds and then you're going to be decreasing to finish off so you can watch the video for um, the plain bunny's head if you need help with that and it'll also show you how to finish off at the end as well and how to stuff and that's how to do it once you do become more experienced there is another method of colour change which is even more complicated but it does give give an even neater finish um, so if you look up on our video tutorials joggler's colour change then that will show you another method but if you're beginning i would certainly just stick with this for the time being otherwise it's going to make it even more complicated so i hope that helps just carrying in the same way and you'll have your gorgeous little rosy head thank you for watching